Hey everyone, this is Mike, and I'm going to do a quick video on how to make the business cards. Um, it's going to be a quick, simple, and easy um, video tutorial, and it shouldn't take too much effort in making it, so keep watching. Alright, so uh, this video, or this template right here that I made is um, part of my business card. It includes my website, phone number, and email address with a cool design, and my title, basically. Alright, so to create a business card, control N to create a new document. Make sure your um, your length is at inches and not pixels. And change the width to 3.5 and height to 2. Make sure your resolution is at 300. And your color mode is at RGB or CMYK. So for this one, we're just going to do RGB. Alright, so once you're done with that, you can save the preset if you want, and press OK. Alright, so I'm just going to quickly colorize this, I'm just going to select the gradient, um, pull that down, give it a cool shape. So there's one right there, it's a cool shape. We download some shapes or find shapes on Google, just do a Google search on Photoshop shapes. There's plenty of websites, and I also have, um, videos on how to get some shapes. We also catch some shapes on my website as well. So I'm just gonna give it a layer style, um, give it a drop shadow, and then drop the opacity, I mean the fill opacity down. Fill opacity, not even. I'll leave it up and just drop the opacity to about 20. Like that. Alright, so it's my initial design of it. I'll select my text. And I'm gonna select the cool text. So anything we do. Um so to about 30 points. Sounds and I'm gonna give that a layer style as well. So you can find layer styles on Google as well. Just do a Google search. And uh something like that's cool. Um Maybe I edit it a little bit, give it a stroke. Give it a black stroke. Set it to about 2. Press OK. I'm going to right click, copy layer style, and apply to my designs text. Just like that. And I'm just going to place it right there. I'm going to select both of them and Ctrl D T to resize. And just maneuver it over here. Just like that. Select my text tool again. And I'm change the size down to about 10. Change my text. And I'm going to input some information. So, web. Alright, so once we have it the way we want it, I'm going to select all of them, resize it just a little bit, and just move it over. I'm going to hit control and hit the quotation key to bring up my own grid. I'm just going to align everything. Okay, that seems good. And if you don't know how to go to grid, just go to view, show, and select grid. Alright, um, and also when you're doing uh, business cards, you want to make sure you put on your uh, your guides. So, press Ctrl R to bring up the ruler, and select one of the guides up here, just pull one down. And make sure it's about an eighth uh, into it, like that. And bring the other side, and bring it about one eighth, like that. You want to do that for each side, so you want to make sure that uh, everything is aligned and that when you're going to cut everything out, everything is pretty much aligned and everything. So, 
Alright, so once you have that in your text, it's within these lines. Pretty much good. You can um, save it. So, file, save as. And, um, save it as a PSD to, um, you know, save your file so you always come back and edit it. And once you're done with that, you can save it as a PNG or a JPEG. And, um, once you're done with that, um, what we're going to do now is create another new document, so Control N. Make sure you select from the presets and go to US Paper. And make sure it's 8.5 by 11 inches, 300, color mode, RGB. And press OK. And once you're done with that, we're going to bring back our... We're going to bring back our... Um, this is the... Uh, business card I had made before. What you want to do is make sure you select all of your layers and group them. So select all of them like that and then go bring it down to the grouping folder right there. And once it's in a group, bring that group down and make a copy and then right click on it and select merge. Merge group and then you should get uh, a little thumb uh, an, a merged image like this. And then once you're done with that, we're going to drag and drop that merged image onto the 8.5 by 11 document. Alright, so press control and hit that quotation to bring up your guides, I mean your grid. What we're going to do is align it. So, I'm just going to zoom in for you guys. So make sure it's about right up in there in those guides. Like that, press control J to duplicate it. So do that about four times. Now zoom out, uh, click and hold shift to bring one down, like that, click at the top, hold shift to bring the other one down, click and hold shift bring the other one down, click and hold shift and bring the last one down. Alright, so once you've done that, you're going to select all of them, control J to make a copy, or not even just select all those layers, make a copy. We can hold shift and bring it across, just like that. And we're gonna just highlight them all again, move them up, just like that. That's pretty good. And once you're done with that, all you have to do is just print it. So Control P to print and print out your document, and you should be able to see your business cards. Um, and all you have to do is just cut it out, and you have your own business cards. You want to make sure you do put them on a heavy weight paper like car stock or um, heavy weight glossy paper or something and then you have professional business cards right from Photoshop. Alright, so this is how you create Photoshop um, business cards. You also have the option to go to Microsoft Office and select the templates and go to business cards. And you can download preset of business cards from there if you want and edit them. So I already have one open. And so you could go in and edit anything you want and print out those business cards as well. Alright, so that's me, Mike, showing you another video tutorial on how to create cool stuff in Photoshop. And check out my other videos. Please subscribe, rate, and comment. And I'll see you guys later.